Welcome back to another episode. Let's just hop right on the road. First things first, we gotta get a coffee. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good, how you doing? Good, thanks. What can I get started for you? I was just gonna do a large iced uh, black coffee, please. Awesome. We have a three hour and seven minute drive. Coffee is acquired. For today's episode, I kind of had the idea of just maybe doing like a little day in my life of my adventuring, like how I adventure, what I do, behind the scenes a little bit. And so today I am just doing, most likely just doing a day trip to Mount Lemmon, uh, which is why I'm wearing the Mount Lemmon hat because I'm a dork like that. So we'll just get down to Mount Lemon and go from there. So let's have a day. six bucks it's literally just black coffee a six dollar black coffee what is even going on right now six bucks for a large coffee six dollars i get a whole bag of beans for like 10 bucks and make like 30 cups of coffee so that is a huge reason why i normally don't buy coffee but i have a long drive i kind of like having just a large coffee in my lap instead of just a little cup but man, do I pay for it. <laughs> I am now at the grocery store. So one of the first things I do on an adventure day is I stop at a grocery store because usually where I'm heading, um, I'm out in the middle of nowhere and there's no stores. So usually the first thing I do is stop at a grocery store, get some food for the day, get some snacks for the day, get some water for the day and just stock up and just be ready for the whole day. So let's head into the grocery store, get some goodies and then uh, we'll head on up to the mountain. Okay, we acquired the goodies. And now we are back on the road up to the top of Mount Lemon. We have about an hour and a half drive still until we get to the top. When I go to the top of a mountain, I usually like to go straight to the summit and just take these mental notes of these spots that I'm seeing on the way up. So that way, once I get to the top, then I just kind of like meander back down and kind of hit these spots on the way back down. So we're gonna head straight to the top of Mount Lemon and that will be the start of our adventure. So let's get up there. Okay, we are nearing the base of Mount Lemmon now. Down here in Tucson, it is 92 degrees. So when we get to the top, we'll check it again and see how different the temperatures are between the valley and the top of Mount Lemmon. Last time I was up here, the difference was like 30 degrees. It's absolutely insane. So we'll see what it is today. Another very cool thing about Mount Lemmon is that you start out like this, just in pure desert, pure saguaros. I mean, look at all these saguaros. And then you go from this to, to this. 
The difference of scenery and landscapes between the base of this mountain and the top of this mountain is absolutely insane. It's probably one of the most drastic changes I've seen in my whole life between landscapes in such a short period of time. It is truly incredible. Just in a straight up forest now. It is so beautiful up here today. I'm so excited just to explore around this mountain today. Get some awesome views and just soak up the sun. It's gonna be a glorious, glorious Saturday. In Jesus name, the day the Lord has made and we rejoice in it, amen. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say there's a fire up here at one point. <laughs> All these trees are burnt to a crisp. Okay, I made it to the top. See if I can parallel park this thing. We are in though. Haha. <laughs> Got a spot at the top. Let's go. It is 62 degrees up here. So a 30 degree difference again. That's just it's just insane. Start out at the bottom in the desert, 90 degrees, burning hot. You get to the top and you're in this forest. Just lush forest and 30 degrees cooler. It's like a totally different world. You're just transported, teleported into like a brand new world up here. <laughs> it's incredible. Before I explore though, I'm gonna get some food. Got a little hitchhiker. I'm just gonna boil up some water here real quick and make some oatmeal. Fuel me up for the trails and then we'll get out there. Quick little uh, pre-adventure meal. Don't need that much for oatmeal. I only need like a quarter cup or half a cup or something. Which is nice because it boils really quickly. Put it on there, it should be boiling in no time and we'll have some oatmeal. Oatmeal's somewhere down in here, yeah, right here. I think we'll do both of these. We'll do the chocolate chip one and then we will do if I can grab it. A uh, maple and brown sugar one too. Because I am hungry. Just look how beautiful my cooking station is right now. Unbelievable, truly, truly blessed. It's so cool up here. And no, I'm not gonna mix them, I'll eat them separately. These only have like 230 calories per container, so they're not that big. So about, we have about 500 calories between the two of them, which is not that bad, so. We'll scarf these down and then like I said, we'll hit the trails. Pour a little bit in this one. And then a little bit in this one. Maybe a little more in that guy. And you just stir them up. Bone apple tea. 
That's what I do. Let's start this guy. Good, how you doing? Good. Pulling apple tea on this one too. This is definitely my favorite one. Cannot go wrong with chocolate chip. <laughs> but the maple and brown sugar one is good too. I'm just up here double fisting oatmeal. <laughs> That's one down already. Save the best for last. And you gotta stay hydrated. I drink a lot of water. I'll put down one of these easily in a day, easily. That's why I bought two at the store. <laughs> That's another one down, second one down. That's light work. <laughs> and we'll top it off a little protein bar. That's about 190 calories in this guy. So then between the oatmeals and this will be like 230, 240s, 470. It's just under 700 calories for this meal. And some good fuel for the trails. Mm. All right, we are grubbed up, so uh, let's get on the trail. I'm just gonna switch you guys over to my selfie stick and then we'll be on the way exploring. And we are off on the trail. Well, on this road, there's a system of trails up here, I believe. And we'll just wander around. We did find a trail. So we'll just meander on this. That is my only plan for the day. Just wander and soak up nature. This trail is so beautiful. The forests, the foliage, the lush vegetation, the birds. God is so good, man. God is so, so good. This doesn't even feel like real life. How is this real life? <laughs> it's incredible. Whoa. I gotta go check that thing out. That's what it looks like to be a fire lookout. So let's see if we can find a way over to that. That'd be so sweet to check that out. feels like a fairy tale land. I'm in the forest on a hill that overlooks the city. Probably can't see it well in here. I'll try to get a shot on my phone for you guys. Forest. City. It's incredible. Got to the house. We got to the lookout.
I even got a little shower in here. <laughs> what a shower view that is. <laughs> Say goodbye to the fire lookout. It's right there. Goodbye, fire lookout. Thanks for having me. It's an old fire lookout that they they built in 1928, and uh, they still use it to this day to uh, look out for fires and to help preserve this beautiful forest. What a job that would be, stationed there, just living right in that house. That'd be awesome. Look at these views out my window. Come on, that's just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so beautiful. Stopped in Summer Haven for a second and there's this super cool market right now. I had no idea that market was going on, but I figured, hey, let's stop in there, check it out. This one person was uh, selling homemade soaps and like hand lotions, which I love just all natural soaps, hand, all natural hand lotions. I hate all like the mainstream soaps are just full of chemicals so so I ended up buying stuff from her had some good conversations with some local vendors I love little local markets like that it was so cool Well, I would say this is a pretty nice spot for some lunch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's get set up. For food, we got a little vegetable tray, some grapes, a yogurt, and some chicken. Let's get to grubbing. I can't believe I used to hate vegetables as a kid. Now I love them. Carrots? Yes, please. Peas? Yes, please. Broccoli? Yes, please. So I do have a little bit of time to kill still until sunset, so. Doing a little bit of reading. Currently reading Don't Give the Enemy a Seat at Your Table by Louis Giglio. I highly recommend this book. It's so, so good. It's a great encouragement and great reminder of the Lord's work in our lives and that we have conquered evil, we have conquered sin through Jesus Christ and through the gift that He has given us. So we don't have to give the enemy a seat at our table, we don't have to listen to the enemy's lies. We don't have to listen to the enemy's destructive plans. We can take victory through Christ, through his resurrection, and through his death on the cross for us. We can walk 
and victory that Jesus has already won for us. So, highly recommend this book. Super encouraging. It's an easy read. Currently eating some grub. Thank you, Jesus. Bless this food to, food to my body. Thank you for providing. Enjoying these fabulous views. And read a little bit. Get to know Jesus a little bit better. So, can't get much better than that. Alright, he got a full belly. Ready to go catch sunset. So, let's get this all packed up and then go on a little sunset mission. And yes, I am making myself a quick cup of coffee at 6 p.m. Do not judge me. I've been running and gunning all day long. I'm tired. I need a little pick-me-up. So we're having a cup of coffee. But yeah, let's get packed up and then we'll be heading out for the sunset mission. Cheers. Perfection. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. I hope that looked cool. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Hopefully I stay on the road. All right. This is where the sunset mission is gonna be. And I'm gonna make a little Instagram reel for this sunset. So maybe I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of what I do to make those. But uh, yeah, let's get out there. So here's a little behind the scenes of the beginning of my reels, where I say, I'm gonna go catch a sunset, I'm gonna go on a hike, or I'm gonna make coffee. It's literally just like this. Just hold it out here, and that's it. Talking to the camera like this. This is what I look like to most people when they see me. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch a sunset. Keep an eye out for this video on, the, on Instagram. <laughs> So here we have a camera set up, pointing up the hill, and I'll simply just start the camera, walk up the hill for a bit, get a little clip, and we just repeat that process until we have enough clips for a reel. <laughs> There's really not that much to it actually, but it's just a matter of finding beautiful views and uh, trying to get the best angles that represent the, the location the best. So. so I have it all set up here, settings and everything's in place. Just press record, walk in frame for a little bit. Except don't trip. <laughs> ah, let's redo that. You guys never see the tripping parks, so I cut that out. So I love to get shots like this too, where the sun's just like poking through the trees. Set the camera up, have the sun just beaming through the trees and just walk by. Ends up being a pretty cool shot. So I really like these boulders amongst the trees. I think it's super cool. So I have this shot here. It's hard to tell on here, but I have a manual focus to the rocks and then the background will be blurry. So I'll just walk by here. I should be blurry. The rocks should stay in focus. Just kind of like a cool little multi-focus shot. Press record. 
Go walk. So here the sun is peeking through the trees really well. Nice little sunny patch. And I might use this spot for like one of my face on shots looking at the camera saying something. So we'll give it a try, see how it looks. Gotta wait for these cars to go by. The one bad thing about shooting by the roads is the background noise, the car noise. So I like to have natural sounds in my videos. And if there's a bunch of background noise like cars and stuff, I have to mute it, but then I don't have any of like the natural sounds. So a lot of times I'm standing here like this, just waiting for cars to go by. Waiting, waiting for an opening. There's a bunch of them right now. It's like a conga line. Okay, I think we got a gap. I'm on the Sky Island of Mount Lemmon right now, so you know the views are going to be good. All right, that works, whatever. Good enough. Let's keep moving. Sun's going down. <laughs> okay, so I kind of like the look of these plants in the sun. They're not the prettiest looking, but they look kind of cool blowing in the wind. And so I'll probably get a shot here. Set this up. But now since I've already done a lot of just walking by clips, I gotta like throw something in this one. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Maybe a little heel click or uh yeah, just something different. So probably just a little heel click. So let's let's do that now. Just something lighthearted, kind of fun, whatever. Okay, so here we now have this kind of cool little tree. And I love doing the shot where I kind of hide behind the tree, just poke out, poke back in. It's just a fun shot and it's just a filler shot. That's really all this is. You, just, you try to get clips that you can put together like a one minute video, so. Just randomness. <laughs> so for this shot, I have the camera back there. So I'm gonna have a walking toward the camera shot because I haven't had one of those yet. And I'll pass the camera and probably transition it right into a walk by shot heading that way. Just something kind of different. Mission successful. We just took a bunch of clips for the reel. I think we got a good reel to put together. And incredible, incredible views. I don't know if you guys can see the moon on here, but the moon is popping out right now, right over there. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, that's just a little bit of the behind the scenes of my reel making. My reels are a little bit delayed compared to YouTube. So when you guys are watching this YouTube video, this reel probably won't come out for like potentially another couple weeks, maybe even a few weeks. So if you see the reel on my Instagram and you remember it from this YouTube video, comment on the reel on Instagram. That would be so epic if you guys remember it. Okay, now I'm just heading back to the car. We're heading back home. We'll conclude this episode. That will conclude this adventure. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.